Hello, we're going today. We are playing Minecraft. <laughs> okay, good. Continue. So yeah, I am in my Grego C, which is also kind of where I do like behind the building of Lego City. I just put like do random stuff I want to do, like like a big version of my skin or of the slime boat launcher or on the fork slime boat launcher or testing bubble columns or stuff like that. And yeah, it always makes it funny when you're like got some place like the jail or the. Um, museum where you can see in the background, you see all this random stuff, or Nintendo Switch. But yeah, so, something really cool with the 114 update is how they upgraded these people. These villagers. And, not long off. That's cool. Okay, so something you might, so some, so all these villagers have been professions, that has been a thing. But you see, if I tap this guy, he says nothing. How do you get villagers that can trade with you? They still can trade with you, obviously, or they just to be purposeless. Except for, like, ambiance and stuff. And, but... You see, if you, if you, you, so in survival mode, if you find a village, then you can just, um, but even in creative, even in survival mode, but in create, in survival mode, if you find a village, there's a villagers with professions, but if you give a villager a workbench, they be have become, they have professions, they get professions, and it's a really cool way that you can get all the professions in creative mode without just search through villages. And, yeah, and also, this is a way that if you want to get a, if you have an old village, like in my world, my world we made 1.13, so, so it's, so it doesn't have new villages, at least not near me, so, so what I could do is I could cr I'd craft lecterns and fletching tables and um, grindstones and cartography tables and put, vil and go to those villages and get the, these new trades. So I wouldn't get all the cool new villages, but I would get cool new, I would get all the trades that I need. So yeah, something I want to, sh I want to show you is look, is look at every single villager type, except every passive non-villager type, so no like pillagers and stuff, in the game, in 1.14. And yeah, there's quite a lot of them, so let's start. So the first um, of these villager types that I want to show, that I'll show, well, there's, I'm showing all of them, they're passive. Or the first one that I'll sh be showing you today is the fisherman, and yeah, it's called the fisherman, and he's a pretty cool one. All you have to do is give him a barrel, and he will. I'll tell a specific workstation for each one. Don't worry. Um, if they have workstations, the barrel. Give him a barrel, and he will become a fisherman. And he has I like I like the hat, like the fish and the little gray thing, like there. But he's a pretty cool villager type. Art type. Then we have the cartographer, who is a who you give a cartography table, and you, which is a pretty cool texture in itself, but it is, but if you give him a cartography table, you become a cartographer. And I really like, I like the, um, kind of golden monocle, very cool little design, very unique, not only really many characters have monocles, except I get the zombie variants as well, which by the way, all of these villagers have zombie variants as well. Like, um, if I, like if, for example, a zombie, a... So if I take a zombie and So if you take you take your So if your villager is a cartographer But yeah. So if a cartographer gets attacked by a zombie, oh, get this guy's dodging skills, epic dodging skills. Okay, but basically, I'm, I'm just gonna put these. Pitch 
back to peaceful mode. These villagers are too good at dodging. And yeah, so basically you do all of um um you do all have zombie variants, but I'm just gonna show you the because I can't get the other variants to work right now. But yeah, so the cartographer is pretty cool. The Fletcher, Fletcher, which most people think the, the Fletching table is absolutely no use at the moment, and it's not very useful at the moment, at least in survival Minecraft, unless you want to do what I said about transferring um, old villagers, because do nothing. These do nothing, and the NPC, old NPC villagers do nothing right now, but but they actually do have a use in the villager code. So yeah, yeah, I like his little brown hat, I like his little um, just apron design, it's pretty cool. And the weapon smith is very similar, and but he has, so he has a eye patch and a little gray apron, and you do use the grindstone to get the to get him. Which I thought it'd, you'd think it'd be the weapon it'd be the smithing table, but I guess that's blacksmith. It doesn't make sense, I guess. Okay, then the like my favorite one is probably the librarian, and and. The, I like the spectacles. There's two reasons I like this one. I like the spectacles that he has. And uh, my favorite thing about this one, though, look, look at this, the book. There's like a little book on top of his head. It's, very, it's a cute little hat design. And then we have the smithing table, which is, again, one of the ones that don't, if, it doesn't do anything except for aesthetic, I guess, and the villager code. And he makes a weaponsmith, I guess it's called. No, toolsmith. Toolsmith. Because that's weaponsmith. That weaponsmith. Tools. And he has a nice apron. He's probably one of the more simple ones, but still pretty cool. Then this one is just the basic villager. And the reason he's just randomly in the middle instead of like at the end is because I th thought these were all the ones that existed. But but there's more. There's way more as you can tell. And yeah, you can see this one doesn't do anything. He just says no if you um, tap him or left trick him to trade with him. And he's just the basic brown coat villager. I think it's only brown coat. Because there's a oh, nitwit as well, but I couldn't. I don't know how to make that one work. So yeah, so this is the wandering trader, and he's the rarest, I, I think, because all these other ones appear in just regular NPC villages, and they're almost guaranteed on every world. But and I think these guys are guaranteed too, but they're a lot less common. You cannot find these like early games. But I found two in my survival world so far. But yeah, and he's pretty cool. It does come with llamas, and he gives more exotic items, more unconventional exotic items, like putzel and lily pads and roses, stuff that you might not be able to get. So he's pretty cool. Then this one is the Mason, which I didn't actually know. Well, I didn't know any of these remaining ones. And you see, if you give Mason a, if you give him a stone cutter, he will become a Mason. He'll become a Mason, and he's a pretty simple design too, just a black. And we still a pretty interesting, still nice bit of extra addedness. And then we have the Butcher, which you give a smoker. And yeah, I like the um band he has. It's always on Butcher for some reason. I don't know why. And the white apron with the weird gray thing that all the villagers seem to have. My second favorite one probably is the Clerk. With the name right, Clerk. Clerk, Claret, however you say that. And I give him a brewing stand. And he will actually give you potion ingredients, I guess. And Well, it's kind of like the Purple Coat Villager. Like for the new wave. So if you give... So he's basically the one where you give rotten flesh to him and you get, you get a bunch of emeralds. And yeah, you can get rice from this as well. Okay, it's pretty cool. My favorite thing. I like the um creeper on the back. Mm -hmm. To the back of him is There we go. It has a creeper on the back of his cape, which is just a really cool little thing. I don't know why they have a hostile enemy that tries to kill them on a on the back of their but whatever. Maybe maybe it's just the enchantment. And this is like my third favorite, which is the and I'm gonna give him more because I put them all on the ground so they wouldn't be able to jump out during the middle of the video, but but just so I can see a bit so you can see a bit better. He has a nice um the main thing that makes this one is the hat, like just like this um, kind of cap with the gray, and yeah, it's a pretty cool little design. And then we have another one that I have to show you, the leather worker, so the leather because they have ones that actually have like holes in them. 
So you yeah, the, the leather worker. It's a pretty cool one as well. He has a nice, um... Okay. So we have the leather worker, which this one already works. Um, he has a leather apron. Hence, leather worker. And he has some side printing as well. Probably all of them do. I just haven't noticed. And, yeah, it's a pretty basic, pretty interesting design. Then we have the Fletcher. Or not the Fletcher, the Wool Shepherd. That's what his name is. And... Yeah, I like his um, white coat and his little brown hat. I do like that. And you use the loom. And you use the um, cauldron to get this guy. And the compost to get that guy. And the brood to get that guy. And you get the loom to fix him. Get this guy. And I have an empty one. I don't actually know why I have an empty one. I don't actually know why. But yeah. I think it's no, because I, I tried... Um, I think it, with one of these, I tried to use the bell to see if the bell did anything. It doesn't. But yeah, I decide. I so now that I show you all of them... They're all free. They can be free now, so. You can be free now. You can go in the town, or whatever. I mean, if they aren't in the town, I probably wouldn't notice it that much, because there are already many villagers in the town. So, yeah. And you, and you, a Mr. Cartographer that I want to turn to a zombie cartographer. You're all here. So, so yeah, that's the end of the video of Minecraft Let's Play. Of Minecraft, not Let's Play, but Minecraft. This. Yeah, it's the end of the episode, and I'll see you all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.